introduce yourself to the world? Hi, I'm Keith. I got Lifestyle RV here in Reno, Nevada. And uh, Keith is going to walk you through, by the way, he's the owner of the company, and he's going to walk you through all the products that he has. Okay. Go for it. What do we got? Okay, guys. So we're starting out with a Sunray by Sunset Park out of Indiana. Nice little small company, been around for a lot of years, and they're offering some of the lightest, smallest trailers I've seen. This first one is a little 109, little 12-foot trailer. Got a gaucho type of couch that pulls out into a bed, so it's a little two-sleeper. Then on this little unit, you've got 1,280-pound base weight. Comes with an off-road package if you desire. Some people keep them lower because it's a little retro type trailer. But along with the uh, off-road for Nevada, we do. You get things like an outside kitchen back here. I like this. this yeah. Is, this oh. is what's nice. Oh, it gives you a little canopy here too. It keeps the sun off your head out here in the desert. You can here. cook, and of course, and you've probably seen the outside the stove stuff. A little two-way refrigerator, gas or electric with a freezer, microwave. Comes with a hot water heater, so the comfort of hot water, outside shower, and then of course air conditioning and a furnace. So this is a loaded little trailer. So it's tiny, but it has almost everything you need. Right? Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, we don't get a toilet in this small of a trailer, but of course you can take a little uh, cassette type toilet or a compost toilet. From here, they do the same trailer, but add a deck to it over here. So now you've got the same little 109. They call this a 109E. When I do the sport package, as opposed to the classic retro, you get an off-road lift, about six inches. So a little bit more, you know, your springs are now over the top of the axle to give you that circumference lift. And then you've got a little tar larger tire to go with it. Nice. You add a little deck on the front. We went from 1,280 pound base weight to 1,660. And that'll now be a place for a quad. Your side rails are your ramps. These come down and you can go drive your quad up on this. So how much max weight can you put here? What payload is it? They've got about a 800-pound uh, payload plus what you can put inside the unit because the axles are really pretty strong. So that gives you a lot of payload for uh, going off-roading or just uh, putting your goodies on here. So easily ATV or a couple dirt bikes. Oh, something. easy, yeah. People, some people just like being on the deck. So they'll have it up there and put an easy up type of tin over it or something just to go up and be off the ground. Can I step up there? Oh, gosh, yeah. So, yeah, we took one of the clips out. I'll have you come off this side. So, actually, we just got this new rooftop tent in, and uh, this has just been installed. So now you can take this little two sleeper type design and add a couple more people. So, mom and dad in here, kids up top. Get a family of four. That's how it works. Maybe even five right here. Oh yeah, <laughs> some of the kids want to be outside. That's for sure. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this uh, really turned out nice. Got the matching tint color on this one and just uh, really lightweight. That little tent didn't weigh more than about 150 pounds all in with the telescoping ladder and everything. I like this one a lot. Um, overlanders, this is like perfect for an overlander for, for a couple things, right? Obviously the dirt bikes, that's fun. Oh the boy. ATVs, yeah. But if you're bugging out and overlanding or whatever, this is all survival Storage, gear. yes. Food, water, whatever. You can put a lot of gear here. This thing runs a little 5,000 BTU air conditioner, so you can run that off a 2,000 watt suitcase generator. Nice. We have solar panel plug-ins for more extended battery strength, and of course, the outside barbecue hookup too. So a little extra, it's just like the 109, the E's the same thing with, the, with all the equipment. Air, microwave, furnace, water heater, outside shower, a lot of stuff. Since I got you, can you demo the bed fully oh, uh, sure. set up? Yeah. So this bed pulls out from just a, a normal couch, like a gaucho, into a 54 by 74 uh, inch bed. As a matter of fact, let me hand you the camera, and I'm gonna demo what this looks like with a 200 pound man You can sit here, relax, get out of the weather. And when it's time to go to bed, I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, with my shoes on. There you go, you've got room on the end here. Yeah, I got plenty You're pretty room. good. Got a little fan in here. Got your controls for your air conditioner. Of course, there's a stereo with indoor outdoor speakers and then uh, other controls as, as well. I like it. Then up top as well. It's like the ultimate um, ut utilitarian, minimalist. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. And this is lightweight. And then now with the off road package, you really can just about go anywhere. I like it. Let's take a peek at the back, too. It's the same yeah. as the other one. Right? Same as the other one. They come in the naughty pine type of wood, 
but some people want to go with a little more modern ash color, but this is more of the cabin look. Yeah, it's nice. It looks like a cabin. Oh, yeah. yeah Definitely nice. got the look for sure. Nice stove top glass with the, with the cook stove. has an igniter on these. You just turn the propane on and then click it and it'll yep. light right up. Yep. So pretty well, pretty well laid out. And I noticed it has jack stands on all four corners. Yeah, right? four, four stabilizer jacks. And it was actually pretty solid when you went in. Yeah, it was. I didn't feel it bounce around at all. So that works out pretty good. And if you're wondering what this thing is, this is actually a shower curtain. You put pull that put, pull this thing up here, take those pins out, and it makes a little shower curtain so you can take a shower and have access to your hot water. So this this company makes from a 12 footer, you know, up to you know 19 foot travel trailers. So oh, before we leave this one, how much for the whole thing we're looking at? This little unit came in around $16,995 with the off-road package. We added the tent, which is available after market for anybody else, so it runs about $1,200. So if you wanted to come to Keats' place here in Reno, you can get this whole thing for under $20,000. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Or if you want to just do your own tent. Save yourself 1200 bucks a get your, get your own. What a day. Again, I'm Keith from Lifestyle RV in Reno, Nevada. Our contact information is 775 852 4888, and our website is lifestylerv.com. Thanks again.